it really is a fundamental issue with this company is how big is the potential customer base? Currently 125, they talk about you know, potentially 250 customers by 2023. Uh, when we think about software, though, particularly software that, that scales, that everyone knows, you're talking about many thousands of customers. Uh, and so it, it's, a, it's a fundamental question that investors have to ask themselves as they look at the prospects here, is how, how uh, dramatically can this software scale into the market? So a limited amount of customers, and many of those customers are U.S. government-based, uh, the average customer spending about $5 million per year with this company, how does that compare to most software companies when they go public? Yeah, typically you'll see, you know, if you're seeing a software company with hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue, typically they'll have at the, at the, the far end, um, they will have a few million dollar customers. And then, you know, at their sort of early stages, they'll have companies that are testing the technology, maybe spending ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 a year. And so the, the median is, is somewhere in the middle. Um, with Palantir, they want to get to that lower end. They want that lower price point to start to kick in, um, but they're not there. And so, you know, they, they have significant customer concentration, really unlike any software company that, that investors have seen go public. You know, from your reporting, I've seen that uh, Palantir software, it's really immersive. Workers spend a lot of times actually in the software, maybe all day using it. So is that a plus or a minus? Because it also, again, because of your reporting, it takes a lot of support. It takes a lot of consulting. Is that a, a plus or a minus? Does that give it a competitive moat or is that cost prohibitive for companies kind of getting on board with Palantir? Yeah, it's certainly a moat in that once you install Palantir and you've spread it throughout the organization and, and employees are using it, it's unlikely that you're going to uninstall it. It becomes a some, a central aspect of how you do business on a daily basis. Uh, but it's a much more challenging install. It's a much more expensive piece of software than you know, something that you use for collaboration or communication. Um, and so it's harder to install. It's more expensive to install. Once you're in, you're less likely to leave. Uh, so strong competitive mode, um, but, but again, a, a profile of a company that it looks more like the uh, types of software companies that we saw you know, decades ago in, in how it gets installed and, and how it gets used.